Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing some hair systems and we're gonna be looking at how they square up against dudes who have sort of got thinning sides, a sort of receding sort of temple because this is important and it's important to get right and it's also important to ensure that it doesn't just look ridiculously obvious that you're wearing a hairpiece. So it's actually really important to see how hair systems stack up against this kind of challenge. We're gonna be reviewing three videos here we're going to be looking at one where a terrible job has been done to actually cover up this receding temple. And then we're going to look at two others where they've actually done a really good job of covering up this potential pitfall. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to be offering some of my own insights, suggestions and solutions to potentially get around this issue. So we're going to start with this young man who's doing an interview on Board Cafe. Now you can immediately see a massive recession right there as to where the hair system joins and then the natural hair comes down here. It's really, really obvious that this guy is wearing a hairpiece. There's a massive, massive gap there. Now if this was happening and this was his natural hair, you would see a lot of natural thinning on the top of the head where the natural hair would be if there's that level of recession at the side. So it's unfortunately for this this guy, it's just not believable. It just looks fake. I'm sorry, but it just does. Now, we're gonna look at this particular video. So this is from Hair For All. We love Hair For All on this channel. They're really, really good at what they do. They're based in the UK. They're very popular in this country for sure. If you look at this guy here, you can see in the before photo, again, there's a massive amount of temple recession there. A massive, massive amount. So how are we gonna deal with this? How are we gonna get around it? I think he's done quite well. And I think this provides one solution to this, to this particular temple recession issue. So you can see that he's got longer hair, number one, and it's pushed back to the sides. So it effectively covers up that level of temporal recession. Yes, you can see a little bit around the side, but it covers up most of it and it covers up most of it really well. I think the actual hairstyle itself as well really suits this, this guy. It really suits him. It'd be great if we could, there we go, if we could get a side profile right there, it covers up that temporal recession so, so well. Could maybe do with a little bit more gray on top just for sort of realism, believability. Maybe he could get a bit of a better color match there. But other than that, it looks really good. And now lastly, we're gonna be moving on to Men's Hair To Go. They are a clinic in London, the UK, and they basically deal with all sorts of ages and all sorts of kind of issues. But you can see with this guy, obviously a lot of recession on top. Hair system definitely needed, but we can see as well just around here where the temple at least used to be. Uh, there used to be hair there. You can see it's thinning quite a lot. Now, if it was me in this situation and I was this gentleman, because of that recession, I'd actually shave the sides pretty short and then have it blended from about there to make it look more realistic. But let's see what they do with it. So you can see they're just attaching the glue now. It's not gonna be, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a full hair piece. It's gonna be a partial hair piece. So it's interesting, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with this. Now it looks like he's going for the quiff. Uh, I mean, at that age, I don't think I'll be getting a quiff, but you know, that's his prerogative. Um, but let's see how it matches up with the thinning sides. So as you can see again, a great way to get around this, which these guys have worked out, is pushing natural hair forward and system from the hairpiece to cover up that receded temple. So again, that's another way that you can get around this issue with thinning sides. It's the first one, you can have your hair sort of pushed back and sort of down over the temple, the receding temple, as we saw in this video. Or you could take this route. Obviously, you'd need slightly longer hair, on the system, you can't go super short. I actually did a YouTube short showing how short hair systems can work. But when you've got this level of recession on the side, this level of thinning, it's not a great idea. This, however, it looks pretty good. Hair pushed forward, it covers the recession around the temple. So in summary, for me, don't keep it short and try and cover it up. And it's very doable with hair pieces. So this first, the first guy that I showed you, 
really short on the size is a massive gap it just looks fake the second two videos i showed you the first one he had his hair pushed back it went down the sides to effectively cover up that recession to cover up the thinning around the temple and the third video i showed you basically they kept the hair slightly longer on the sides the hair on top was slightly longer as well and they were able to push forward the hair so it'd cover up that recession so you wouldn't notice it both of those look really, really good. If there was one other option you could consider, let's say you want to keep it really short on the sides, really short on the temples. Another thing you could consider is maybe get, getting some SMP around the sides, just up here, and then it should hypothetically be able to cover the balding or thinning part of the temples. I suppose the only drawback to that is you would always have to have it short, like super short, and you'd have to get it touched up probably every five years. So in my personal opinion, the first two options are definitely better. But what do you guys think? Do you experience sort of recessed temples? To an extent, I actually have sort of recession around my temples. Is it something that concerns you? Do you wear a hair system and do you try and cover it up? If you're interested in getting a hair system yourself, why not get the one that I'm wearing? This is called the Coyus. It's a thin skin from Le Vivid. It's very, very comfortable. I'm absolutely loving wearing it at the moment. And you can even bag yourself 15% off. 15% off. Add that to their coupon code, Adam15. It's popping up on the screen. It's also in the description box below. If you're enjoying my content and would like to be notified when I make new videos about two, three times a week, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And heck, if you like this video and you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are curious about SMP after hearing what I've said in this video, some content that I made a while ago about SMP and hair systems is popping up on the screen right now. So why not head over to that video? Thank you very much, guys. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.